I'm Sharon Arbuthnot and I'm one of the authors of A History of Ireland in 100 Words. We thought we'd use the opportunity provided by the Meet the Author series to tell the stories behind some of the illustrations in the book. When we first began to think about images, we all agreed that we wanted them to be striking and to convey some sense of the strangeness and darkness that the publishers thought came through in the writing. Fidelma Slattery, who was responsible for the design of the book, suggested that we commission artwork from Joe McLaren and he eventually provided the fantastic lino cut illustrations that you see today. You should never judge a book by its cover, of course, but the image on the front of 100 words has certainly proved to be a talking point amongst everyone who has seen it. Peeking up from the bottom of the page is a representation of the Ulster hero Cahullin. Early Irish tales depict how Cahullin, when enraged, undergoes a full body contortion that's sometimes referred to as the warp spasm. There were many physical manifestations of this warp spasm. Cahullin's knees turned backwards, one of his eyes protruded out of his head while the other shrank back until it was only the size of the eye of a needle and his hair stood on end so that apples falling from above would become spiked on the individual strands. This image of Cahullin with his hair standing on end and apples spiked upon it accompanies the entry on the book in Kruga, which today means brave but previously meant bloody or covered in blood and gore. Also concerned with blood or gore is the bird woman whose image was displayed in banners which were displayed throughout the city of Dublin underneath the words the guest no one invited for Halloween. The bird which is so beautifully integrated into the old woman's face is a raven or crow and together they represent the Marian, a malevolent supernatural creature who often emerged on the eve of Samhain or Halloween. She can assume many forms including a black bird and an old woman. In a bird form, she is often depicted as hovering over the battlefield or gloating amongst the corpses on the ground. This is one of two images in the book in the section on other worlds, where you can read also about the Tooth of Dedanon, leprechauns and what to expect if you should encounter a magical mist. My final illustration comes from the section on social circles, which deals with friendship and love and family relationships. Some readers have assumed that the image of the tumbling man, which appears in this section, is supposed to represent the idea of people moving round in social circles. To be honest, that idea had never occurred to us. The image appears in the entry on Cara, a friend, where we talk also about the word Karta, which means in a friendly relationship or a, a truce in a time of war. And we talk also about the phrase our carta, which means in credit today. In other words, a friendly relationship or a friendly agreement that payment is not immediately due. And the entry ends in a terrible joke uh, about a flexible friend, which a long time ago was an advertising slogan for a credit card. So Joe produced for us a credit card shaped illustration of a man bending over backwards to help us finish the chapter. If you have bought or read A History of Ireland in 100 Words, thank you. I hope you have very much enjoyed it. Mm -hmm.